Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Thursday, 12th day of December 2013 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. Very, very sharp selling pressure in the precious metals markets as we see prices plunge, plunge to where we saw them just a few days ago. We talked about the fact that we would probably get some increased volatility as we went into the holidays, and we're certainly seeing that. Take a look at gold, for example. 1226.90, call it 1227. Puts it off about $25 on a day. Now, the low is 23.50. We're just shy of that. And the high, of course, is 1258.30. And as I said, it's trading off $25 plus on the day. Traders, daily chart of silver, one day drop in silver, almost 4% given up. Current print, 1950, the low 39 and the high 2047. You can see this dramatic price drop. We'll look at gold on a daily chart as we get into the show. Let's first go back to that 60 minute. You know, traders, I can talk about a lot of the fundamentals that are being cited for this dramatic price drop. And we will as we address our opening letter each and every day. I try to keep this to the technical aspect because technicals to me have a clarity unlike any fundamental analysis out there. Take, for example, the identified resistance and support areas that we talked about. And first of all, let's take a look at this resistance area. This is 1352, and then we have another one at 1260. These are the 50% retracements. We've talked about where they're coming from, but here's the key. Here's what I'd, I'd like you to look at. Consider this. Market hits this top just below uh, 1270. I believe it was 12. 67. Market comes down and you can see that for just a, a small time, it's trying to find some kind of support right in this area. But look at the strength and the magnitude once that market starts to sell off and really break below, of course, this former support now resistance area right in here. Because when you look at the size of the candle, this is a 60 minute chart of course, you can see the most dramatic drop was that hour that came right after it broke through this level of support. And there's two things that we really want to talk about on today's show because they're going to be things that we really hone in on next year and work really, really hard to educate our subscribers so they can take this information to other markets that they might be trading but more importantly, so that we can look to profit for our fifth year in a row. And that's really exciting for me. And that's going to be trend analysis, Elliott Wave, of course, and then candlesticks. Because candlestick patterns have an uncanny ability to give you indications of future events in the market. Because as I've said on many occasions, what candlesticks really do better than any other technical indicator I've worked with is mathematically defined market sentiment. And market sentiment is the elusive, it's the $64,000 bear that, that we try to understand. So with that in mind, realize that over the last couple of days, we have been talking about some patterns that we have identified. Now, if you recall from the shows that we've been really recording over the last few days, we've been looking at different intraday charts as well as daily charts, and we've been talking about some patterns that really showed us pivot points or key reversals. If you recall from the last couple of days, I talked about this three river evening star variation, our confirmation on the following candle. It is a very, very short term study, but nonetheless, you can see that right at the top, we had this formation just as we did right here. So it doesn't mean that every time we get this three river evening uh, star formation that it's going to be a key reversal, but it's certainly worth noting when we do identify this pattern and see how it unfolds. In the same way, we've talked about the doji clusters on the bottom, and you'll see that many times as a market forms and builds a base. You can also see it though, as a market is dropping, it will consolidate and you get that stair step. So in other words, what's happening is you'll get a market drop, It'll go sideways for a little while, another drop, sideways for a while, another drop. And that's a very common occurrence as a market trades up or down to get that stair step manner. But for what we're looking at right now, the key is, is that doji in the center. It's such a pure doji when you look at it. And even on a 240 minute chart, it gave us some real identifications. Now, when we look at these patterns themselves, there are a couple of patterns that are, are almost nonsensical. So as the market comes in, this right here is actually 
a variation of a three river morning star red candle star green candle but because you do not get any any confirming candle the following cycle in other words we would have had to see a green candle with a higher high and a higher low you get this red candle and in fact the red candle has a pattern of an engulfing bearish but on this one you don't get confirmation because the following candle isn't red and it it does have a lower low it does have a lower high following one is a small and then you get this next engulfing bearish so when you consider on this 240 minute chart that we really had indications pretty much all the way down strong here strong here kind of a false signal here another strong signal here and lo and behold the market really really comes down hard and we saw not only this pattern but patterns in some of the other charts now the next chart that I want to take a look at that we've been looking at throughout the week has been this 720 minute chart and on this particular chart the pattern that we identified was simply called an incomplete dark cloud cover we explained the reason it's incomplete that it did not close at or below the midpoint it's the opposite of a piercing line this is engulfing bullish but if this green candle right in here had closed at or just above the midpoint but below the open of the prior red candle that would be a piercing line so these are different variations but there's no doubt you get a very very these are half day candles and you get this this really progression of stronger and stronger candles to the downside now of course we did pull profits we pulled profits at 51 the markets trading at 26 the key is this is that our if our trades are profitable i'm not so concerned about leaving money on the table as much as i am concerned about protecting equity that we have and year after year consistently providing trade recommendations that are going to provide a profit i was kind of waiting for the dust to settle and boy it never did because they shook it up as soon as it settled so we had this clip up and i was looking and hoping for a little bit higher pricing uh, before we went ahead and initiated another short position because they certainly didn't see any strength coming into the market nonetheless we are flat we're watching this market right now and as it stands the marketplace itself is at a logical support level again that 25 12 25 area so we want to see how it reacts here because traders as you know if it breaks below this my sense is it's going to go and retest 1180 now we talked about the incomplete dark cloud cover that we identified in the half a day candle this is a standard candlestick chart this of course is a daily chart cash market when we talked about one of the patterns that we saw on this particular chart was simply an engulfing bearish we had that small bodied candle you could almost call it a three river star variation but this body size of the green is very very small but you are getting the green candle the star and then the red candle the market didn't really go up that much so it's not after a defined uptrend and that's one of the the variables that you look for but you're getting this strong sell-off and you can see that the marketplace right now has broken through these levels of support these are the ones that we talked about before and is right now at 1225 and we also believe that to be a fairly critical number we'll pull up a chart that illustrates why that number is so important and again to make sense of it I've gone back and, and uh, taken another look at the 720 minute chart we've compressed it to show you a couple of the fib areas of fib retracements that I'm looking at both of them start at these lows at 1180 but they come to these respective tops here at 1435 this one at call it 1365 when we do that these are the two areas we have identified 12 23 76 percent retracement of that and that is pretty much where we are right now sitting at 1225 that's where that number comes from and is important from in terms of a technical basis so where does that put us in terms of our current Elliott wave count and our outlook for the next couple of days or maybe next couple of weeks as we go in towards the end of the year well when we look at th this gives us more major support and resistance levels of course because we're really looking at the the big picture on this three-day chart we've broken through 1249 that was very very important uh, 
1154, of course, is above the 1180, and that's the, the absolute important uh, support level right now. And that's going to be, I think, the area that the market could, in fact, come and test anywhere between 1180 and 1154. If the market continues lower, that would conclude our fifth wave. We would then go into our basic uh, counter, which would be some sort of an ABC progression. That, of course, would be a rally to the upside with A and C being rally or uh, actually corrective waves but the corrective waves within a bear count and so they would be upside moves and so those are the areas that we have to watch a couple of no, uh, notes of interest that I just want to kind of mention to you as we go in towards the end of the year we do have the loyalty program still available that will only be up till the end of the year and, tra and traders you're going to notice some dramatic changes on the website one of the things that we're almost ready to move into the member section is a, a video filter or sorting system in which you just simply type in the date and you can go and look at any of the videos that have been created over the last couple of years. We'll go back two or three years on that, but it'll allow you to back test or see what we were thinking at any given time. I'm really excited about some of the changes we'll see uh, in the upcoming near future. So traders, what do I think about silver? Well, as I've said, I truly believe that gold and silver will kind of trade in tandem. I believe that silver will follow in suit after gold. And I also believe that we will continue to see silver outperform uh, percentage gains and also outperform in terms of percentage losses on the way down. We're certainly seeing that today. Here's the key. I've taken our daily chart and on our daily chart we've been looking at this key level between call it uh, 1988 and 1967. My sense is that was that last major point that it really needed to find support whereas we're seeing a 76 percent retracement level hit in gold and that level has been um, 25, 12, 25. That same retracement uh, in silver is putting us far below it and so my sense is right now that if we remain under pressure in the precious metals markets, look for 1850, look for 1875, but I do see silver slipping below $19 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.